Welcome everybody to the 30th community call in the Guild Castle. We are extremely happy today. Uh, we have two bigger times aligning. One is a 30th community call, and that is a lot. We've been hosting this every two weeks or sometimes every three. This is the most consistent thing ever in the whole universe. So to have the 30th is pretty big celebration. Many of us, many of you have been here for most of them. So thank you for holding on and listening to us every, every other week on your Wednesdays, taking your time. Appreciate you. And the other thing is Guild just turned two on Monday since it was Guild is public since um, exactly two years on Monday. 9-11 might not be the best choice for the birthday, but it's already going so we're we're gonna we're gonna look at it in a in a good way but happy birthday guild happy birthday i wish i could use the soundboard but if i don't know if hannah or you can use the soundboard but we could have like a either a clap here or something else or is the soundboard not on stage never mind we'll forget about it um, as usual, this call is recorded and it will be uploaded to our YouTube so you can listen back to it if you missed anything or if you feel like you need more inspo, um, it will be on the YouTube. So as usual, we'll go through some product updates, get into a very big new feature that we want to introduce you, to you a little bit, talk about support updates and the messages that we have and as Norby said he's been working at it pretty hard this week so hopefully we have some news for you and we'll get more into community news and what's happening out there with the guild community uh, across the globe what we've been up to some appreciation and yeah that's roughly it so let's get started let's pop in our first product update as usual, we start with the front-facing things, UI, UX, and the alike. So the new um, UI updates are very sleek, very yummy. The first one that we were going to talk about is that we have new indicators to show which chain or the requirements are on. So previously, it was just plain text. If you had like a multiple NFTs in a role as requirements, then it just said kind of a shortened version of the contract or the name of the NFT. And it was written in text, which chain was on. And we got actually, I think through the support system, we got some of you told us that it would be nice if it had an image there. It would much like, look much nicer. So it took not as much effort and it looks so much nicer now that there's a little image of all the chains um, that are indicated in the requirements. So it's much easier to see. There's the little icons. Um, it's easier to navigate and identify the chains. There's so many. It's a, just a growing amount of chains. So at least we can identify based on color and that's quite helpful. So we did that. That's a, that's a cute little update. So look out for that. I love always, I know I said it last time as well, but some of the the UX and UI updates that we were doing, they feel like they should have been there or they have been there for a while, but they haven't. And they matter so much in the long term. And these small changes add up tremendously. They definitely compound. Um, and mindfulness slash wellness session with Reka right now, intermi intermission in the product updates. It's always the small things that compound into bigger things, no matter what we're looking at. It's the product, it's our front end, or it's habits, or the way you want to live your life. It's always the small things that grow into the big things and make it possible for you. So don't neglect the daily tiny little things. They make up everything. Having said that, going back to the product updates, uh, more UI. So some of our bigger updates include, I think more a bucket of how we can name this is we have smoothness in the UI on multiple fronts in our access hub. So where you would see what you have access to your account model that pumps up when you click on the top right corner on your account, um, on the guild pin minting page, uh, the purchasing model and all these other things that kind of pop up 
we made animations uh, much smoother. So these animations were prone to like stutter and load slowly. These kind of accumulate and give you the feeling that it's the product's actually slower. Um, and we kind of fixed that, made it faster. And it's a huge firm. It's not like a huge performance update, but it feels like one because the animations aren't stuttering. Um, and it l loads faster and it makes you feel like it's a billion times faster than it actually is. A fun fact is in the very, very early days of the iPhone, this was the exact reason why it fell so much faster. I don't know how many of you had the early iPhones. I definitely didn't have it. I was an Android girly for quite some time. Uh, but that's why the iPhones felt much different uh, than the Android, Android ones because the animation and was slicker and like faster and it was more much more satisfying to use the performance between android or flagship phones was not directly more significant in the apple compared to the other phones but because the ui was so much better it felt like it's a higher performing phone um and there's a little note here we have with these little updates, we have two Easter eggs hidden for you in the guild UI. And to give a little hint for that, they are at the requirements. Let us know if you found any of them or all of them. There's two. We could, I think, probably find them during this call. So please write it in the chat if you, if you know it. By the way, as usual, if, you're, if this is your first time listening to this call, um, we broadcast it to Twitter, but most of it goes into our Discord server, that's our native little hop for our guild. And we have Secret Chamber there, which if you can access this stage, you can see that channel. Um, and if you're on Discord, you can see all the videos and screenshots and links that are relevant to what I'm talking about and what we're explaining to you. Um, so you don't necessarily need to like hunt it down through the product or just imagine it. We'll live link it in for you and you can follow along through that. So having said that, the before and after of this buttering of the UIs, making the animations much sl slimmer and smoother, um, we're going to post those videos in there in the in a secret chamber now so you can see. If we could did screen sharing, this would be a great time to screen share because that's very, very, like such a cute, significant um, difference that we can see. Cute. Okay. If you've looked at that, or if you haven't, none, either way, we're moving on. Um, there is a bigger new feature uh, that the kind of 200 of us that are here now will know about, and some of the more uh, eagle-eyed guild users will definitely find, because uh, it's live in production. We've been experimenting with um, getting more insights on guilds as that is very relevant in any fu community functions and community building in general to know who's in your community, what are they doing, how you can best provide value for them, what type of engagements should you make, um, what are they doing, who are they, where are they. And we pride ourselves as guild being through the role of roles, a great segmentation tool to find that out anyway by creating these roles and and identifying members of specific histories and interests. But now we have a new feature to add on top of this to help every builder know a little bit more about their community. Um, it's also in the sense that admins have the bigger, or community builders have the bigger gain from this feature, but members, your individual account also um, is pretty relevant for this. So what this feature is, it's called Activity Log. Many of you have already found it. We got nice DMs how useful it is or how much you waited for this. Thank you for those. Um, so this essentially, it's for the admins, is kind of what I explained, but we'll go more in de deeper into the functionality of this. But for members, um, they can also check everything that a their account does on guild except for what admins change so for example if an admin changes um 
something about the guild, especially when it's hidden, the members won't necessarily see it. But for example, if a member joins a new guild or edits their own or gets a new reward, they'll definitely see, uh, everyone will see that on their account's activity log. Um, guild users can find this new feature next to their community homepage. So if you're on a guild's page, there's a tab called roles, which is the thing you're used to already. That is what it, that looks like. And next to roles, there's a little flag or button that says activity log. And if you go on it, um, you'll see all the activities. And otherwise, it's there's also guild.xyz slash profile slash activity where you can see your own accounts activity. So to go more a little bit deeper about the optionality, the utility, and the functions of it, we'll send a few screenshots in here of how vast this is. But even though this is like first iteration, first version of us trying to provide more insight into the community, there are so many options for sorting and endless possibilities to combine these. So you can sort by three main things. One is user, second is role, and the third is action. So the first user is essentially, you can check a certain wallet or an address um, and the actions taken by that address in the community. Super clean, love it. Second is roles. It, you can check certain roles and changes to any member within that role. So having the role be the main character here and seeing what happened to that role, who got in, who got out um, through that role. Third is action. Um, is so that you can see what actions has been done in the guild. And there's a su super long list for these actions, mainly or to name a few who joined the guild, who left the guild, who gained a role, who lost the role, uh, who claimed the reward, and many more. Um, we'll post the screenshots in the secret chamber, as I said, um, so you can take a gander. But otherwise, these types of actions and filters can be combined completely creatively. Um, there's no restrictions how to filter them. Um, actually, there's one, one filter uh, that I, the one filter restriction is that only one reward and role requirement can be set as filter at once. So you can't combine the role structures together for now. <laughs> so with this, the admins and users and members and everyone can easily check who lost, gained roles, and get more insight about who's exploring, who joined through the web, who joined through Discord um, into the guild. Pretty cool. The UI feels very native to guild. There's a bunch more colors and, and uh, little symbols added. Um, it takes a second to get used to, at least for me. I've been so used to the just our, our colors that already were in existence. But it's a very highly anticipated direction uh, that we can explore right now with this with this feature. Currently, the admins can see the last 24 hours in a guild history and the last month in everyone's profile. So. For a personal activity, you can see your last 30 days. And for a guild, as an admin, you can see the last 24 hours. These are only two product updates now, but it's pretty big. So it takes a second to digest this, uh, I think. We are working hard on some more, some more heavy hitters, if you know what I mean, that we're going to release in the new following weeks in the next following weeks. Uh, so don't worry, next, next community call will definitely have even more to, to add to this. Pretty exciting. Um, I've already looked through my own activity log and it's so cute to see. I, at first I was like, wait, wait, wait. So like my own activity, it looks like, well, I'm adding a lot of like requirements and changing a lot of things in different guilds. I like own and moderate a lot of guilds but it's so cute when it's showing which guild i did it in and what role i did and for example for the safe con diagnosis safe con uh, workshop that i did it shows the, all the little updates that i've been doing for it 
um, the updating the guild roles for the Zora NFT holder recently. It's just so cute to see. Not only is it useful, but it's great. Ooh, it also shows that I left the guild. Uh oh, T. I won't tell you which one, but it's also showing that. It's pretty cool. Having said that, we'll move over to the support news. Um, we'll definitely touch on the Twitter issue that's still going on. So none of you are in the in the darkness about it. Well, it's definitely very important for us that we communicate about this, although there's not much we can do. But uh, still, and I'll give it over to Norby to do this section. Hey, guys. So I would like to start with the part that Rika mentioned about we are making the support system more accurate and and better. So, for example, we are working on a system with which we will know before you start the conversation what with what issue you'll probably be reaching us. But we aren't at the stage to like talk about specifics here because it's really in its infancy right now. Due to the because we we have one uh, issue up which uh, affects a lot of people. This is the Twitter API. A quick recap for you guys who aren't familiar with this issue. This is caused by Twitter removing the endpoint in their API with which we can check who follows who on their site. There isn't much we can do about this. We are trying to circumvent it and try to reach to a solution with the team, but it's it's really hard to fix this issue. But <clears throat> little happy news, we fixed a lot of other issues in the meantime, for example, the clear client sides and a lot of admin related issues in the past weeks. The Twitter isn't seem to go away for a couple of weeks or until Twitter itself puts back the option to, to check for this in their API. And for now, that's it for support or not, because Hanna is going to talk a little about our knowledge base. I don't think we can hear you. Is your mic on? I can hear her. Yeah, I can. You can hear her? Can you guys hear her? Respond in the chat. Respond in the chat. It might be a me issue, but then I have to leave real quick. Okay, they, can, they can't hear her either. Could you rejoin Hannah, please? Cool, cool, cool. This happened last time. Remember last time? It was none of us heard any of it. And the only thing that solved it for me, by the way, is restarting the whole of Discord and logging in again. Um, I hope this isn't as serious, but we can wait a little bit. Um, ooh. Okay, until then, I think, hey, can we hear you now? She's back. Yay, you can hear me? Yes. Of course. Perfect. So as I was mentioning, I will start it over then. So yeah, I'm taking the words. I want to end this um, this whole point on a good note. And you know, guys, we have our knowledge base available for everyone, which is our help center we are building our support system on, the help.kills.xyz. And there you can find a lot of things. You can find articles, you can find how to do guides and all sorts of things. And actually, we have really great metrics about it. And we just want to mention it. It seems like 95% of you guys seeking out support can actually find answers to your questions and issues, which is like a really great feedback for us 
basically it means that like we are covering most of the things that you guys are looking for you are searching so this is just the beginning there was a really great a really big rework recently just you know uh refreshing our guides to be up to date and we are planning on just incorporating more and more guides into this so you will be able to onboard you know yourself in a smoother way so this is what i wanted to say i will just give the birds back to you with the community news amazing full credits to henna this whole knowledge base has been absolutely manifested by her so let's go team <laughs> going on with community news um we have a few things that happened in the wild um we have integrated zora as at this point actually like 39 chains are integrated into guild but one of them is the zora network super cool for on-chain summer or on-chain autumn as we're rolling into that um and to collab to commemorate it we collaborated with the zora um team slash platform and released our first ever guild nfts on their chain it's been it's always you know when you actually put out something on chain in this sense it's a little scary but it went really well it was super well accepted and almost fifty thousand of these nfts were minted also shout out to a designer who spent time in august to learn new animation skills so this nft is like super moving and mesmerizing and addictive to watch if you haven't yet we'll put the link in here in the secret chamber so you can check it out yourself it's a crazy gif of the guild castle being in a glass zorb and there's like a bunch of like lightning pinky sandy watery things going around if you ever have been interacting with one of those like magnetic balls where you it's like a glass ball and you touch the outside and because of the i think your electricity that's in every human and every cell because of chemical interactions it like puts out these like pinkish purplish do you know what i'm talking about it's so hard to describe why is it so hard to describe i'll have to <laughs> i'll have to find a gift for this for you guys into the into the chat but when you touch it it's like almost like li pink lightning is going to your fingers through this like glass orb anyway moving on from this this great description um raz one of guilds our my co-founder uh, and ceo of ours have been on the rehash podcast talking about where he came from what experiences molded him into the person he is and into starting guild uh, some about DAO, some uh, advice about investing. Take a listen if you'd like. We'll put the link in the secret chamber. And last community news is me, the Reka, is in Berlin for the Berlin Blockchain Week. As a little, if you've never been to Berlin or the Berlin Blockchain Week, it's so builder focused. No one has asked me about investments or showed me their nft it's so great the like the quality of the events is wonderful super focused and we did a workshop at the safe moses safe event uh, about community segmentation using guild and i put a live survey into it which was filled out by about like 20 people who were in the audience and it was so interesting to get live data about who are in this live community around us and to know who's in my audience because it turns out every single person in that audience has been on chain before 2021. Most of them have deployed smart contracts themselves. Most of them own over one ETH in their wallet. Most of them have been to ETCC as well. Um, what else? So they're OGs. Every, every question that I had in that survey, which was like really short, pointed to everyone in the audience who filled it out being super OG, which was a very interesting, super pumping, exciting insight to have as a person who's tr trying to educate them, present to them uh, solutions 
it was very good insight. So I highly encourage you, if you're ever in this position where you have like a workshop, definitely put in a tiny bit of a query. Also, it, it changes the vibe. It's a good activity. It's good involvement. It was really cute. So that's my good rec. But also more from the fact of, uh, I think the Gnosis events in general uh, pull out the part of a community who's super builder happy and have been around for a while and they know what they're talking about. But also it was very refreshing to to meet these people and talk about community and finding out more about each other, making better connections and better automations uh, with the tooling that we have. So that was exciting. And also thank you Brainwash for putting in the gif about this ball that I was talking about into our chat. So if you're in our Discord, please check it out so you know what I was talking about for a few minutes. Um, and with this, we're going into the appreciation part of our community segment. Again, I think almost consecutively every week, every second week we could do this. Again, our Dune wizard, Vatal, has delved into learning databases, um, resulting in Guild having a brand new community-built Dune dashboard about Guild pins. Yay! It shows the percentages of each community that dropped the pin uh, recently or before or ever. Um, and the kind of the ratio of how many members of the community minted it out compared to how many members there are in the community, essentially showing the success of it and the engagement. And it's a very good insight. It's so fun to see that one of the biggest ones is Life Peer, uh, which isn't our biggest guild. It isn't the most pins minted. But since they started their guild with having a pin in it, they have, I think, over 60 or over 70%. I don't remember the percent perfect uh, number um, success rate of minting the pins for community members, which is wonderful. Yay. Um, also, I think this kind of um, relates to here, but I'd like to talk more about Guild's birthday because happy second birthday, Guild. Again, cutesy. I should have a soundboard um, for myself. I, I'll just give a little clap. Woo. <laughs> um, two years ago this week um, Guild has been released into the wild in its alpha version we started teasing it on Twitter with a few people being interested and then we started hunting down people with very interesting BD strategies and, and we cultivated this very secretive kind of underground alt but cute and mysterious and available and free and permissionless and a few more words that I could say here, but the guild that you've known before. And it started out as a very simple tool to connect Ethereum and Discord, token gating essentially, and evolved into the guild that you know now. Super cute journey. In these last two years, we have expanded the requirements and chains on which these requirements can be to be 39, so over 30. Um, plus the, some of the applications that we also have integrated. Um, we're not stopping the shipment anytime soon. We're super excited to work on this. We're really, as a whole team, we're really passionate about making this even better. Um, and we are super happy, grateful, and glad that we chose the approach to work closely with, to cultivate this guild, our own guild, and be so closely communicating with, with you guys and getting so much feedback and talking with our partners on a very regular basis and getting their feedback and what they'd like to see and what they need. And some of the things that we've built have come fully from our own experiences or our own brains and what we like to see built, but it's invaluable that we had so much in, insight coming from you. Um, we made an endless amount of UI and UX updates navigating, making, navigating the community pages and the insights and, and everything easier so that Guild can become the homepage of your communities. We're really happy with the journey that has been going on. Um, for a while, Guild has not changed at all in its look at the Explorer or the, home, or the actual pages of the community. Now that's also in progress. We've been waiting that for so long. With all these updates that we always share every two weeks, you can also keep very close uh, attention to how it's growing. Uh, and last Friday, the team celebrated this milestone and toasted this amazing achievement together 
as you know, everyone in the team is Hungarian. We do have an office in the south of Hungary. So whenever we have a special moment like this, uh, we like to gather and celebrate together. Um, have have a have a cute little dinner, have some drinks, have some talks, and and talk about the future of Guild and what we'd like to do. So, thank you so much for holding on this long and liking what we're building and and being here and talking with us and and all the everything. It's it's been a really interesting journey, and it's I, it almost feels like we're as you know as a founder, I can fully say it always feels like you're doing your best and working on hard things but it then gets you you learn how to do that hard thing and there's like more harder things to do and i feel like that's true for all of us and it's a very beautiful thing to do this together as a team and and grow like this and learn all these lessons and start doing these hard things together um everyone in their own expertise and their own track getting better and better at what we do and getting better at doing it together i think that's the that's the sauce. That's the secret sauce. And sharing some of the knowledge. Um, we like to do these like Friday gatherings, by the way, where we share some of, well, actually where we're going and what's going on in the space, but also uh, sometimes we have workshops for each other and uh, we like to like give our experiences. So happy birthday, Guild. Very wholesome. And... That's the community part. And a little more OPSI community announcement is, again, shout out to our designer. He's been working really hard to learn new, new skills. And so we have the premium POAPs coming back. We had some like disagreements with the POAP team about the premium POAPs not looking different enough than the normal ones. Uh, so we really upgraded them. They look so cool now. We're going to put the animation here, I think, in the secret chamber as well. So you can see it looks amazing. Um, so from now on, there again will be an opportunity to have the premium apps after community calls. The normal ones will be available as well. But we are bringing back the two tier system. This one is super special with the number 30 and everything on it. Um, so. Uh, I don't know, Norby, if we know about the links yet, if they have arrived, so we can mint, but... Yes, we can. They have arrived. Amazing. So I will read them in a minute. Perfect. Then for our little gift to you, slash the little gift to us from you, um, the POAPs will be up in our guild, and in the secret chamber, we also put the button in, so you can claim through there. Um, a little collectible for mem commemorating our 30th community event and guild, guild second birthday and everything. It's very sweet. I hope we have more of these and we can celebrate in more grandiose ways together um, on chain or off chain, cross platforms, cross everything. Um, in other ways, do you guys have anything else to add here? I think we covered most of the things we wanted to share on this unique community call. Norby, any last famous words? I don't think I have any. I think it's time to open the champagne bottle. Celebration round two. Yeah, yeah. Cute. Okay, then... Thank you everyone for joining today on Twitter, on Discord. Very big shout out to you. Super appreciate you coming, taking your time. Um, and so many of you being recurring uh, here. And we absolutely, if you don't believe, we do know you by profile picture and name. We really appreciate you being here. Um, and yeah, thank you. The, the guild pin... Sorry, POAP button will be in the secret. It's already in the secret chamber. Wow. Okay. Norby, super fast. It's already in the secret chamber. Otherwise, it's on our guild page as well. You'll be eligible to mint it for a little while. Um, thank you so, so much for joining. And we'll see you on the next one.